Musical Spore for Simon Says Stamp with the October edition of Making the Cut. Making the Cut is my monthly series here at Simon Says Stamp where we talk about all things die cutting. If you enjoy die cutting, I highly suggest you like and subscribe. Now let's get to creating this fun vintage Christmas station wagon card and matching gift tags. We're going to start by stamping the background. I'm going to be using this Ink Blot Shop Micro Gingham Background Stamp. This is a clear background stamp. And please ignore the staining on my stamp. I must have used some colorful ink. And I don't know how I stained it, but I did. But I promise it's not going to hurt the white pigment stamping we're going to do on this Desert Storm cardstock. I'm stamping my micro gingham on this four by five and a quarter inch panel of Desert Storm cardstock. This is my favorite cardstock for that craft kind of look. And I wanted to go with kind of more of the, I want to say rustic, but it's not exactly rustic, but kind of that feel. And a gingham background is one of my go-tos for a fun holiday look. Um, there's all kinds of great gingham backgrounds in the Simon Says Stamp store, so definitely check that out. I thought the mini or micro gingham today was gonna be especially nice as it's not gonna detract away from the things that we're adding on top. I've also die cut some tags using the Simon Says Stamp Nested Tags Die. I use the largest tag die from this collection and I have four of these die cuts so we're going to do four all at once and with the biggest tag and then any of the smaller ones this will work as well. I was able to stamp the front of both of these with my micro gingham background from Ink Blot Shop. So a six by six background stamp will be able to cover two of these if you wanna do something similar, no matter what kind of background you're using. As long as it's a six by six background, you can go ahead and stamp two at once, which makes, uh, kind of speeds up the process, if you will, of creating decorative backgrounds. We're gonna go ahead and do those final two. I am using a press tool. You can also just use your hand or whatever you might have to get a nice even coverage. I'm using the Hero Arts Unicorn White Pigment Ink and one press of this. I only inked it up once and pressed it once and you get beautiful results that almost look like a craft in white micro gingham pattern paper. Then on a white side fold card base, we are gonna create our card first. So there's a couple of differences between the designs. The station wagon's gonna remain the same, but for our card, I opted to use the beautiful new Joya, Joyous Christmas, pardon me. Um, this is a new die from the Simon Says Stamp Peace on Earth from the beginning of this month. Uh, the release, in fact, many of the products you're seeing today are from the release. I will let you know as we work through these projects which came from the Peace on Earth. But Joyous Christmas has the beautiful outline and then the gorgeous script sentiment, and it's a very nice large size. So it's gonna take up a lot of real estate on our card. I die cut the more intricate part of Christmas, or the actual sentiment, I guess I should say, twice from Smooth White cardstock. I'm layering one on top of the other, and then the shadow for this was die cut from Black Licorice cardstock, and we're going to adhere the layered white on the black outline. Now I do wanna say something that I think is fantastic about the Joyous Christmas sentiment is that the shadow isn't super big and bulky. It has cut out sections in it as well. So it's not going to cover up the background. I think this particular sentiment is beautiful. I want you to maybe even imagine maybe taking that sentiment and placing it on the tag we just created. You could definitely do that and have a tag with a big, bold sentiment. Maybe add like some little red accents, maybe a little holly and berries image from another Simon Says Stamp product. There are so many things you could do and that's going to uh, make gift tags even quicker. 
The gift tags today, I'm not going to lie and say they're fast because they do have lots of pieces, but I am going to give you some hints and uh, little tips and tricks, I guess, along the way to kind of tell you how I was able to put these together really uh, fairly quickly because assembly line style, especially when tag making for Christmas tags, is one of my very, very favorite things to do. I tend to share a lot of them. Um, coming, you know, prior to and upcoming to the holiday season because I love making tags. And if you love making tags too, I hope you uh, stay tuned for the rest of this video. So here is my joyous Christmas sentiment. I love the white on black. It's very classy against the craft and white background. I think it's very showy, but I definitely think we need a little pop of red, don't you guys? So we are going to add our um, vintage Christmas station wagon. This is another new product from the Peace on Earth release. I love piecing together die cuts. This series is all about die cutting and this is a fantastic image. So I actually die cut the station wagon from Hero Arts Cranberry cardstock. The bumper and kind the, the back bumper and front bumper as well as the center or the hubcaps of the, the uh, vehicle are from the new Simon Says Stamp Matte Silver cardstock, also from Peace on Earth release. The tree is from Lawn Fawn at Noble Fur, and I did die cut the car again from Lawn Fawn Pearlescent Vellum, and I ran that vellum through a Xyron sticker maker and inlaid the quote unquote windows in our station wagon so that it mutes the, the gingham background. You can still see it, but I like how the windows have a little bit more of a frosted appearance, and I just think it's a great little finishing touch for our station wagon wagon. Regular vellum would also work great. I've glued my sentiment to my background. I have glued my station wagon to the background. And then for the tree, I am going to pop the tree up on our station wagon with a little foam adhesive. Now, as cute as this is, I totally think that it is a little plain and finishing details is my absolute favorite thing to do. So I have my little From All of Us from the XL Christmas Greetings stamp set. Not only does it have the great sentiment, but this stamp set comes with dies and even that little sentiment strip die, it comes with that. So you're able to quickly and easily die cut that to match. This is important because we're going to be using from all of us for our gift tags as well. Now for the handle door handles on our vehicle, I took some liquid mercury Nouveau crystal drops and applied that because I felt like we needed a little finishing touch. And I'm going to add a scattering of stars all around the card stars. First, let's add our snowflakes, the white snowflakes. These are the Trinity Stamps Vanilla Sugar Snowflakes. And then we're gonna be taking some itty bitty silver stars and scattering those throughout as well. I picked silver stars because we're using matte silver for our vehicle and so I thought silver would kind of flow into this a little better. The addition of the snowflakes and stars really rounds out the entire design and I think finishes off our joyous Christmas station wagon card perfectly. Many of the steps that we took with the card are going to be replicated for our tag. The difference is joyous Christmas and the station wagon are not going to fit on our tag and I wanted the focal point of the gift tags to be the cute station wagon. So I went ahead and did a bunch of die cutting off camera. Um, while I'm finishing adding some star confetti, I'm going to talk about my preparation for putting together the tags. I obviously uh, die cut the tag fronts all from craft cardstock and stamped them with the micro gingham background. Next, I went ahead and die cut all of the elements for the station wagon. That's going to be the red, the green, the silver matte cardstock, black and white for the wheels. And then I went ahead and die cut backs of my tags from the cranberry cardstock. That's going to be um, four of those. 
And then from the whole reinforcer from the nested tags, we need two for each tag. We want the front and the back to be pretty. My goal with gift tags is that they can always be used not only for gift tags, but maybe even as an ornament on the tree or something like that. Then I stamped and embossed Merry Christmas and the phrase from all of us from that XL Christmas greetings set on either black licorice or cranberry cardstock, heat embossed with white embossing powder and use the coordinating XL Christmas greetings dies to die cut those sentiments. And then I had stacks of them on my work table to go ahead and start putting it all together. So I'm gonna put one tag completely together and then we'll kind of speed through the rest so I can show you how I do this. Often I will do the first tag to make sure kind of that everything fits to be quite honest. I always like to kind of make sure that there's no adjustments that are gonna be needed. No, then this is no matter how many tags you wanna make. You might wanna make, you know, 10, 15, 20, whatever. You might wanna switch up the sentiments and maybe use something else, whatever you wanna do there. But I do the same process no matter what. So I'm putting together the first tag. And I kind of knew I wanted to do the station wagon sitting on top of the sentiment. I tried it both ways before I started adhering everything and I like the sentiments below better, but that's completely a personal preference. So I'm going to assemble the station wagon. Same as the card, we're gluing it down, we're adding all of the little details, we're going to put the tree on top with foam adhesive to have that nice little dimension to make the tree look a little bulkier. Um, you could even uh, go in with markers and add shading if you wanted to. Once I have that, then I can position my sentiments, the Merry Christmas and From All of Us, right underneath, and we're gonna pop those up with foam adhesive as well. I will also use some acrylic blocks. I wanna make sure that my station wagon lies flat since I'm adhering that with liquid glue. So, now that the glue is drying on my tag, I'm just gonna quickly show you my step for um, stamping and embossing the sentiment. I do this in my Misty so that I can stamp that sentiment twice. This sentiment is a nice chunky font and I wanna make sure I have really good coverage with my embossing and watermark ink before I sprinkle on the white embossing powder and heat set that because I want that Merry Christmas to be nice and bold. Much like Joyous Christmas on our card, I liked the white on black, so we're duplicating that here. So the text is white on our black licorice cardstock. Here are those coordinating dies for the XL Christmas Greetings part of the Peace on Earth release. Another fantastic product. Um, it's a six by eight stamp set with so many amazing greetings in this, and they're big and bold. I think that it's really fantastic. Any one of these would also look amazing on one of the nested tags. And the, the nested tag set comes with five sizes of tags, so you can pick the tag that fits your sentiment if you wanna do something a little bit more simple. So I about have my, or I'm gonna go ahead, I think, and finish my car. I ran the pearlescent vellum through the Xyron sticker maker, and then I peeled it off with tweezers to keep my fingers out of the adhesive and layered it into my vehicle. This is an added step. You could completely leave this step out and save yourself a little time if you'd like. The other thing I wanna suggest to save some time, I did die cut the wheel multiple times, so twice per tag or card to get the silver hubcap. This was a little bit time consuming to take that extra step because I'd already die cut this piece um, for the wheel for the white 
on the wheel. You could also take some Nouveau crystal drops and adhere that in the center or a silver sequin, something like that, and you could eliminate the need to have to die cut it so many extra times if you want to. If you're like me and you like to be extra with your die cutting, then go for it. So here is my popped up Merry Christmas. And then we're gonna pop up from all of us right underneath. The other thing I would like to suggest is that if red and green or kind of the more traditional colors are not the colors of your gift wrap, totally switch this to whatever works for you. There are so many great background stamps from Simon Says Stamp. Pick something out, else out that matches your theme a little bit better. Die cut your station wagon from a color that matches your gift wrap and you are good to go. And then very much like my card, I am gonna add that scattering of snowflakes and stars to my gift tag. Now I will tell you guys that I often reuse my gift tags. If they are kept kind of within uh, my, my immediate family, like kids or parents or whatever, and we're opening presents all together and they don't wanna keep their tag, I just take them back. So I generally end up keeping quite a few tags this way every year. And so I don't feel like it's wasteful or anything like that. Um, sometimes, like my daughter especially, she likes to keep her tags um, and kind of reuse them or hang them on the tree or whatever the case may be. So sometimes your recipients want to keep things like that. I know my niece loves to keep them as well. She likes um, any little thing like this. So. Um, definitely keep that in mind. Even if you've written on the back the to and the from, the next year I will just simply look for, let's say a tag that says to Ethan from mom. I will go ahead and just grab that and put it on the tag, or put it on the tag, put it on the present the next year. So kind of a couple of ways to get more than one year's use. So I'm going to speed through my assembly line process. Now that I have one tag front completely made, and you can see I did glue the whole reinforcer in place, I'm going to assemble the rest. I love using some tweezers. These are Spellbinders tweezers. They're available here at Simon Says Stamp. I love them because they have a little micro tip to them and they have that little curve. So they're fantastic for positioning little pieces of cardstock wherever you want them to go. If you love die cutting like I love die cutting, sometimes you've got little bits and pieces and tweezers are just the best way to be able to maneuver and position those things right where you want them to go. I'm using the lines on my micro gingham background to also help me line up my station wagon on each tag. So I kind of figure out where I want it to go and then I line up that bottom portion of the vehicle with a line of gingham through the middle of my tag and then I assemble from there. As I'm working, I'm simply placing them under some acrylic blocks to help hold that flat while the glue is drying. And it is thunderstorming out. I'm sorry if you can hear that. <laughs> so here is my last cute little station wagon. So you'll notice I'm doing all of the tag fronts. Let's put a foam adhesive on the back of our tree and pop that right up on our station wagon. So much fun. Let's put our whole reinforcers on the front of our tag. I'm using an embellishment wand, embellishment wands and tweezers. We had a quick nail change in between. <laughs> And now I'm going to go ahead and run all of the windows through my Xyron sticker maker. So I have three sets of these left and I'm going to quickly place them in each one of the station wagons. So much fun. Then we're going to take from all of us from the XL Christmas greetings and we're going to stamp this a few more times. I had a couple of them, but I needed to go back and stamp a couple more. Normally I like to start with all of these done, but I thought I might switch up um, my sentiments, but I decided to just kind of keep with this because I really loved how this looked.
So I have scraps of Cranberry Hero Arts cardstock that I'm using here, stamping them with white, or clear, pardon me, and embossing in white. And then I think I will show you that little die that works with these. I so love that the XL Christmas Greetings dies comes with the sentiment strips that fit the sentiments in this set. So there are dies, I believe, for every single sentiment in this set, even the little ones, which is awesome. Then while we have our Misty out and our embossing ink, I am going to take Special Delivery and the To and From from the Let's Make a Tag stamp set that I believe was released last year, if I'm not mistaken. And on our tag back, which is that cranberry cardstock back, we are going to stamp the Special Delivery and To From at the same time with clear embossing ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder. Let's move a little bit of stuff out of the way so you can see that. And then I'm simply going to stamp them one right after another and heat emboss. I always like to finish my tags off on the back just like so because I feel like it just gives you a much more professional looking tag. This Let's Make a Tag stamp set from Simon is one of my favorites. There are several options for to and from. In fact, I believe this set has three different options. Lots of little sentiments so you could add a lot of different things like a gift for you with love. Um, we use special delivery. There's also like a love Santa just for you. Um, little things like that. So really, really cute and fantastic for tag making. And then we're just gonna finish stamping and embossing these. I just kind of set this all up in a little row and did this quickly. powder tool to help keep that embossing powder hopefully just on what we're stamping. Now we want to finish the tag back as well. Remember we die cut whole reinforcers for not only the front but for the back as well. So I'm going to go ahead and die cut from all of us I think first. This is that little sentiment strip. We're just going to go ahead and die cut all of these really quickly. Then I'm going to put glue around the top of each of my tags, put them in a row, and place the whole reinforcer on the back. I love how that white looks on that red tag. We're going to put foam adhesive on the back of our sentiments. And then simply start finishing each of the tags off with our popped up sentiments. So that's going to be the Merry Christmas first, which slightly overlaps our station wagon, and then we'll center from all of us right underneath. We wanna add our, the rest of our snowflakes and stars to each of the tags. I think the stars add a great little touch to our tree, just makes it a little sparkly and fun, and then of course around the top of the station wagon as well. Fun little embellishment. We're going to do that for each one of our tags. And then when we're done, we're going to put adhesive on the back of one of our tags. And it doesn't really matter which one, although I would recommend probably the red, the flatter one. I would put adhesive on the back side of that, and then we're just going to put our tags back to back. And that is going to make the back of our beautiful station wagon tag look as pretty as the front so that it's just very nice and clean and the double layer of cardstock makes your gift tag very sturdy. So if you're gonna use this beyond the holiday season, maybe you tie this you know, to a bottle of wine or something or to a plate of goodies for your neighbor, whatever the case may be, it's gonna be nice and sturdy. So we are gonna do this for each of our tags and then we're gonna take some Lawn Fawn Lawn Trimmings twine, thread this through the top of each of our tag, and knot it to finish it off. What I do first, so each length of Lawn Trimmings twine is the same length, is I will trim one, and then I trim however many 
else, uh, however many more I need to the same length, and then I will thread them through each tag. And I think the black and white ties in so nicely to our design. And the Lawn Fawn Lawn Trimmings twine, there's a whole bunch of colors available at Simon Says Stamp, so definitely check that out. Black and white is my favorite. There's also a beautiful red, white, and silver sparkle that is perfect for the holidays. You could also tie in some little jingle bells or other little embellishments if you want to. I generally keep mine fairly simple, but that is a fun option as well. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this vintage Chris Christmas station wagon card and matching gift tags featuring lots of fun dies from Simon Says Stamp. Please be sure to visit the Simon Says Stamp blog for more information. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next month.